few years ago, Patrick came to me and he said, Dad, how do you know when you love someone? <laughs> I said, it's when their desires, their wants, their goals become more important to you than your desires, wants, or goals. And then you'll know they love you when the reciprocal happens. And I think that's a great way to describe this evening. Yeah. And I'm kind of glad he came to me. <laughs> As we celebrate, it is an opportunity for us to reflect on ourselves and our own relationships, not just those we surround ourselves Watch with, but who we choose to be for them. Go far away. Just as these two are showing us today, it is all about the commitments that we make to each other throughout our lives. And so it's in that mindset that I would like to read to you a short poem titled, The Art of Marriage. Call out loud, hear a sound, stand up, tall, feel the weight of it all. No time to spare, going nowhere against the wind. Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. In the art of marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say, I love you, at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue through all the years. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together, facing the world. Anto? Anto? I promise to love you. I promise to love you. And commit to you. And commit to you. I promise. I promise. To be there for you. To be there for you. And forge a path. And forge a path. For ourselves. For ourselves. Together. Together. Patrick? Patrick? I promise to love you. I promise to love you. And commit to you. And commit to you. I promise. I promise. To be there for you. To be there for you. And forge a path. And forge a path. For ourselves. For ourselves. Together. Together.
Patrick, do you take Antu to be your lawfully wedded wife? Will you honor and cherish, love, trust, and commit to be there for her through joy and pain, in sickness and in health, from now until death do you part? I do. Antu, do you take Patrick to be your lawfully wedded husband? Will you honor and cherish, love, trust, and commit to be there for him? Through joy and pain, in sickness and in health, from now until death do you part. I do. Power invested in me by the state of Maryland, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Everybody who um, came to be with us today, and like Tom said, you know, we have people who came as far as Norway, and you know, we have people come from, you know, like Ohio, California, Seattle, and you know, even friends who are right next to us, our next door neighbor, you know, um, whether you're far away from us, whether, you, whether or not you just met us, you know, you took the time to be here, and thank you so much. Like, I, um, I'm, I'm, we are very grateful. I just want to say the story my dad told, that's actually a true story. <laughs> you know, that, that wasn't just fodder for a speech. It's very, it is, that actually happened. And I'm just, I'll keep it short, I'm just going to say it's 100% true. So, thank you, thank you for coming. <laughs>